Hi guys, welcome to the Cow Whispers Creative Cards. I'm Michelle Wright and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, today we're going to make this really cute tranquil tulips card. This set is actually a host set, which means if you place a $150 order before tax and shipping, you can get this set. And uh, you can think outside the box, gather up some of your friends and say, I'll take care of the order. And if you can get it up to $150, then you can get this set for the work you've done of placing the order and getting everything in. Also, the month of July for 2017, you're earning rewards, $5 coupon for every $50 you spend. So technically, you if you spent $150 and were able to get this set, you would also get three coupons for $5 each, totaling $15, and then you would spend those in August. So it is a win-win, okay? So this is a two-step watercolor type uh, stamp set, and I absolutely love it. Let me uh, tell you that this one I did in uh, Smoky Slate and Ida Navy, and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to reverse the colors. And in the top right-hand corner of this video, you can click on that eye. It will take you directly to this blog post for this card, which will give you all the supplies and the uh, dimensions for this card. So let's grab our Whisper White right off the bat. Whoops. Let's uh, bring in our piercing mat because we are using photopolymer. I'm going to grab some old olive and I'm going to do my stems. <clears throat> in this card over here that I already made, I didn't put any leaves on it that come with the set. So I'm going to do that this time just to change it up a smidge. These are my three stalks. And remember when I tell you that this is supposed to look like watercolor, so it's not supposed to be a solid stamped image. That's what makes it so awesome. All right, so there's one. And let's stamp it up again. And I'm going to just angle this a little over here. I've got a little boo-boo down there, but that's all right not going to be a problem because we're going to put some other things down there so don't panic remember when you're building don't panic this is the single stem let's stamp some of these over on this side remember handcrafted cards always a workaround Okay, now let's grab our leaves and we've got one here that kind of folds over. Okay, and let's put it about here. And then we're going to do another one kind of. Lower down here. Okay. And then we've got some leaves that are straight. Just throw a few of those in there. Decisions, decisions. Let's go here. Say here. Okay. Now I'm going to go back real quick and I'm going to take my little one here and I'm going to throw just some little tiny ones. down here and 
then I've actually got one that's even a little bit wider than that one. I think I'll grab it. It's actually a leaf, but you know what? I can use it however I want. Get it on my block here. And let's do this. And I can turn it either way. Ooh. Man, I'm heavy handed today. Let's put some down here. Turn it over. Let's throw some up here. Amen, baby. Run over there. Okay. All right, I like that so far. Okay, now let's start building our tulips. Now, like I said, this is a two-step stamp, but you can use the same color, okay? And let me show you what I mean. Let's grab the smoker slate right off the bat. I like to start with the big background. This is the big tulip. And let's put him right here. And let's do one over. Mm, let's see. Well, yeah, let's do one more over here. And let's do one more. Yeah, let's do one more right here. Okay? Okay? You're like, oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know what that... Mm. No worries. No worries. Okay. This is... Whoops. Grab my... This is your top layer. Watch what happens. You literally just want to come over the top. Same color. Okay, folks? Hello, how cool is that? What is that right there? That makes me extremely cranky. See what happens when you're trying to hurry? But you know what I'm betting? I'm betting my uh, Knight of Navy when I bring that bad boy is going to take care of that. Okay, let's put this up for right this second. Let's bring in the Nine to Navy. Because otherwise I'm going to be stressing out about it. And that's just not good. So let's bring in our background. And let's... We're going to put him on top. You're not going to best me, Card. It's, it's not going to happen. Because there is always a workaround. Okay, here we go. And let's see. Do I want one more of the big ones? Yeah. I'm going to do one more of the big ones. And I'm going to do it down here. Do it however you want. Whatever makes you happy. That's what it's all about. Okay, here's the top layer. Gonna come down here. Let it absorb in. Hello. See it? It's gone. No, you don't see it. <laughs> That's what I said. Remain calm. Everyone just needs to remain calm. Don't you love this set? Look how easy it is. Okay. All right. Let's get that done. Now let's bring in our. Oh, let's bring in. Let's do some more night and navy. Some smaller ones. Let's do one there. 
I think that's going to be good for that. Let's bring the top layer. Works exactly the same way with the smaller ones. Mm, then let's do a wiping these off on my stamp and scrub over here. Let's do a smoky slag. Obviously, you guys aren't going to be working as fast as I am here. I try to keep my videos where they're not extremely long. This one's going to go off the page. Smoky slate. And don't think I don't see that because I do. Top layer. Mm, don't you love it? All right. Now, oh, you know what? I want to put some of the small ones. This set also comes with these little small ones. So, let's grab them. Same premise. Let's do some of the smoky slate ones first. Do the background one first. Let's do one. Go on this angle. And I'm going to go on this angle. And let's put another one over here. Okay. Okay. Pull that off. Put it back on so I don't lose it. Because that would be the story of my life. Okay. Top layer. Here. Here, here, okay, and then let's do some of the night at navy. Do one, let's say, here and here. I think that's good for that. Let's clean that off. Okay, and let's go back to our topper. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is adorable. Quick. Mm, love it. Somehow I have managed to get ink all over me. All right. Now. Let's see here. <laughs> let's. You know what we're going to do? Let me grab a piece of Whisper White. Let's see. I want to do it in my Memento Black. This thank you, like I said, comes from the background bits. I'm going to put it over here. That turned out great. All right. Now, I wasn't sure how wide that was, so let's trim it down just a smidge. I'm using my paper trimmer over here. Let's see what do we got. Oh, yeah. See, I'm covering that up. Grab my daughter real quick. Since I'm showcasing the Smoky Slate, I'm going to use the Night of Navy just to give this a little pop. So let's just, just inking those edges up. Hey, 
Every, look at the ink all over my fingers. See, sometimes you're just trying to go too fast. But I know you guys can appreciate what I'm doing, so don't like to keep people here all day. Oh, that is so cute. All right, get that out of here. Get that out of here, let's put it together. Get these inks out of here. For the love, wipe these hands off. Okay, piercing that out of here. Let's take this and let's take our smoky slate. Let's use our fast fuse. Gentle, gentle on the fast fuse, easy pressure, and then just act like you're check marking it off. Okay, so all you got to do, some people just push way too hard. And that's why you have problems. It's just super gentle. But I guarantee you, you want something to stick, this is what you want. Oh, yeah, that's correct. I've had so many uh-ohs with this card. Thought I did it again. All right. Okay. Now, let's grab our, where's it at? Smoky Slate Ribbon. Yeah, I knocked it off in the floor. Have one of those days, people. Okay, spritzer bottle. Taking it. This is probably nine inches. I cut this ribbon, Smoky Slate. Gingham ribbon, absolutely adorable. This one I used the Navy. Might have Navy. Oh, man, I love it. I love gingham. But, you know, I'm a farm girl, so are you surprised? Okay, I'm just tying that on there so that way I can slide it off. Come over, flip this over on the back. I'm just gonna use a tiny little bit of my fast fuse. Get that fuzz off there. That'd be Tessie hair. I've got three dogs. One of them is an Australian Shepherd. And she's got blue eyes. I call her my blue-eyed baby girl. And she sheds. But you know what? <clears throat> I wouldn't take anything for her. All right. Crooked. Crooked. You know, we don't do crooked. Let's try it again. Pull it up. Do you hear that scratching? That would be... Madison, my miniature schnauzer, who is laying on her bed under my desk. Yes, we're dog poor here. But you know what? When you're a farm girl, you got animals. You got animals. Okay, look at that. Mm, it's coming together. Okay. Some fast fuse. Whoops. Come over your ribbon. Just lifted it up a little. I want that ribbon to make sure and stick down. Okay, light handed. Okay. Oh, <laughs> pretty cute. Okay, let's grab some dimensionals. You know, I like to already have all mine backing papers removed so much faster. Pick them up and go. And Oh, it turned out cute. What do you think? Not a navy. Smoky slate, smoky slate, not a navy. Mmm, too cute. I know this video is longer than usual, and I apologize for that, you guys. But you know what? Just keeping it real. Things happen. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'll have links in the description at the bottom and in the eye in the top. Uh, if you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your gal. If you have any questions or comments, please just post them below, and I will definitely get back with you. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.